I like the idea of having like a basic a uh, basic amount that all Americans have. And I don't really care whether it's a public plan or it's the government finances a private plan. I just want a set amount of money that goes, that every individual can count on that they're gonna get health insurance and not have to worry. And I think that's just civilized. Mm -hmm. And then I would like to see the government encourage the groupings of people to come together. The employers have been an important grouping and in many ways the only grouping since World War II. But I think that we have to move beyond just the employer and have others. Another an example would be the federal employee health plans, um, the benefit, FEHBPs. Uh, and what people often think of is that the, those individuals just get government plans, but they actually go through their union. The unions come together and through groups, that's how they get all these choices. So I think that it would be great if groups like ours would be able to group together and start delivering that kind of safety net that would supplement the basic amount that all Americans would get. And so what you would get for that grouping is, number one, you'd have actuaries and experts and advocates who would be able to really argue about coverage, who would really make competition meaningful. What I think would be the worst case scenario would be that we individualize everything. And I think that that's the vision of both the left and the right, which troubles me. So the left is, you know, we'll have single payer and the individual will get from the government. And the right would be, we'll have individual plans for the individual versus the insurance company. But just play out the scenario of one person has a problem and they have to call and they stay on the phone and they have no leverage. But if, let's say, a number of people within a plan have that same problem, you can troubleshoot it, you can act as an ombudsman, and it really goes much more with our national culture of you know, this de Tocquevillian realization that we associate. That's what makes America um, a strong democracy, not because we're just a bunch of individuals. And I think that's underappreciated right now, especially in Washington. Mm -hmm.